The Game Boy Color was released in Japan on October the 21st, 1998, for the low sum of $69.99, which would be around $100 today, adjusted for inflation. It was the successor to the Game Boy Light, which reigned for a total of 190 days before it was completely eclipsed by the Game Boy Color. So much so that the Game Boy Light never made it into international markets. The original Game Boy was the only Game Boy for over six years before the Pocket model was released, whereas the Game Boy Light only made it six months. That had to mean the Game Boy Color was pretty damn special. And it was. At launch, the Game Boy Color had a total of five different colors to choose from. However, it went on to have over 80 different known variations, including promotional items and shop exclusives. Which leads us on to this the non-coloured Game Boy Color. It's also the first clear black Game Boy Nintendo ever made. There isn't anything else on this Game Boy to indicate it was exclusive, it's just a clear black shell. Let's unbox it. So here it is then, the black Game Boy Color. I really like it. This one is not Toys R Us exclusive. Uh, this is a shop called Eden Exclusive. Never heard of Eden before. Um, I might even be pronouncing that wrong. Here's a photo of what it looks like. And uh, from my understanding, it's a little bit like Best Buy, except Japanese. And we don't have Best Buy, at least where I live in Jersey. I don't think it exists in the UK. Uh, but yeah, very interesting that they would go for an exclusive deal with a, a store like, like that. Um, also, there really isn't a lot of information about it online. I, if there's any Japanese people watching right now, please let me know if Eden is like a ridiculously popular go-to store. But I typed in Eden uh, and f in, in Google Maps for Japan and there was only like five or six stores. So I really don't understand it. This isn't the only clear black Game Boy Nintendo ever made. There is also a Game Boy Advance, which is a King of Fighters variation, which is also clear black. But besides that, I don't think there's any other clear black ones that exist. So having a look on the box, you've got your photo of the Game Boy there in its black glory. You've got the photo of it there equally in its black glory. And there's nothing on here to say Eden or you know any sort of exclusive uh, branding on here, at least not that I can, I can read or, or have used Google Translate and it's told me about. Um, so that's kind of cool. It does say for sale and use in Japan only and commercial rental is prohibited. Uh, this box is in really, really good condition. Annoyingly, there's a little bit of sellotape there, but what can you do? I bought this on Sendico. Uh, it was about $300 and it came boxed with a bunch of other um, games and cables and all that sort of stuff. So really, really pleased with the overall price I paid for this thing. Getting it boxed is nice um, because it means that you'll have everything included with it. Let's see where the manuals are. Here we go. I think that's everything. So um, we'll set that to the side. So here is the stuff that you get. Now, I'm sure that's probably just like a, a, a warning to do with batteries and all the rest of it. Um, I can't read any of that, but it's not that important. At least I don't think it is. Now, usually, annoyingly, um, on the back here is actually stamps from the store that this was sold in uh, to give it the address and the telephone number. So really annoyingly, there's nothing stamped on the back here. But if anyone at home has a smoke black uh, Game Boy Color from Eden stores, please send me a photo of what that looks like because it'd be really cool to track down the exact store that these were sold in. The only thing worth noting is this little serial number. So it ends in 2004. And uh, as you can see here, this one is exactly the same. So it's really cool to have the, the matching paperwork to go with your Game Boy. But here it is. Unfortunately, the screen's a little bit scratched up. Not really a lot you can do about that. But doesn't this just look like nothing that Nintendo would ever make? It's like the least Nintendo product I've ever seen in my life. I mean, granted, there was a black DMG and there was also a black Game Boy Pocket, but clear black? I don't know, it's just so weird. Because obviously there was the clear black Nintendo 64 um, and then there was also the clear black 64DD 
Um, but just, I don't know, it's so cool. I absolutely love it. I find it fascinating. Where did I put my batteries? Um, I really do think it is probably one of the most gorgeous Game Boy Colors that I have ever seen in my life. You can see there the uh, the, le the level of the transparency. It's not, uh, it's probably translucent, I think, actually. Um, but yeah, this one works absolutely perfectly. But just look at that. I don't know what it is about it. It's just this like oxymoron of being the Game Boy Color, but the only thing colorful about it is, you know, just the logo there. And obviously the, the screen is gonna be in color as well. But I don't know, I just find it really, really interesting. And there's something else interesting that I'll show you in just a minute, but let's, uh, let's play a little bit of Solar Striker. A lot of people complain that when I make these videos, I never actually play any games. So uh, this is one of my favorite games, Solar Striker. And uh, you basically fly around as this little spaceship. Now, the reason why this is one of my favorite games of all time is that it's very, very enjoyable, but also incredibly low effort. There's no sort of storyline. I know, I know a lot of people enjoy, obviously, like a Zelda game or something, but this is the kind of thing you can just give to anyone and they'll pick it up, play it and enjoy it. And uh, you don't need to sort of put a lot of effort into thinking about what you're doing. You can just do it because it's a very easy, intu intuitive game to play. Is that the right word? Um, and yeah, I've never really got that far in it because I'm really bad, but maybe one day we'll do like a marathon uh, and see how far I can get or something. I hate those ones. They just die for you. And it's got a really good soundtrack as well. Anyway, that's probably enough of that. But um, here's the interesting thing. So this is another Game Boy that we'll look at at another time probably. This is the Die Hawks Game Boy Color. And I think Die Hawks is some sort of a sports team. That might be really, really wrong. I've never actually looked into it. Um, but there's quite a few Die Hawks products. The, there was a Nintendo 64 that was also orange and black. Did you hear what I said there? Orange and black. Look at that. It's a black back. <laughs> I don't know if it's the same. Presumably it must be. Um, I don't know if it, I mean, I mean surely it is. Because uh, why would they make more? Yeah, it must be the same. But I've never had it side by side. So I'm really happy about that. But yeah, I mean, a lot of people are going to love the orange and black one. Um, I love looking at rare Game Boys on this channel because it's stuff that I know people probably won't have even heard of these two Game Boys. So look at that, it blends into my t-shirt. It's completely camouflage. How cool is that? Um, but anyway, yeah, that's probably going to wrap up this video. It's just a very interesting thing. Why there's no branding on it to say that it was specifically exclusive to Eden, I don't know. Why they wouldn't slap some other color on there other than black. It's a very interesting design choice. Maybe the uh, CEO of Eden just liked the color black and Nintendo said we can do that. But uh, yeah, that is going to wrap up this video. I hope you've enjoyed this incredibly rare game with it. There's no videos on of you on YouTube. And uh, if you did like the video, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.